Good morning, everyone. I got my piggy food ready, but no piggies around. But, so let's. Gus has been doing really well. Let's keep it that way. Close the door. We're going to close the room. That's right. Easy boy, my hands are not food. <laughs> yeah, it's what it is every day. <laughs> Ooh. I got to get the snow in here. And uh, I won't have to clean up the farm today. Because my youngest one is here and she's going to do the super cleaning for winter time in the barn, which is great. Yes! That's a wonderful thing. All my children do that. And uh, that's great. Very blessed as a parent to have such filial children. I'm also not a parent that <sighs> calls my children all the time, right? <laughs> all right, I need another bucket because I'm going to throw some of these corn muffins out. I got three boxes full. I guess they're out of date for free. Let's see here. You want one? Gus wants one. You want one? Huh? They're not moldy or anything. Oh gosh, don't swallow that whole thing. I can't see. Oh, here it is. That's not the date. Are you kidding me? Where's the date? I don't see a date on here. <coughs> Maybe they don't need one. Delicious essential corn muffin made of whole grain. Yeah. They are so sweet, you can hardly eat one. I ate one and I had it. That was so sweet. Also, look, it's like, it seems like they didn't finish the baking them or something. They're so gooey. Well, anyway, so I got them, and the pigs eat them. I don't know if I should give them to the horses, but the pigs eat them, the chickens eat them, right? So they're not going to go bad. It's cool enough now. They're doing just fine in the garage. See, they're not done. Look at this. So you think, oh, corn muff made of whole grain. Well, that's something good. Then you look in the back and say, well, wow, that's an awful big, long list of ingredients. But anyway, they're no good. I don't like them. And I said half-baked. 
it's look at this sticks to your they taste like that so it's like you have dough in your mouth rather than right all right well as like i said they're baked enough for the chickens they're gonna love it. and i give them a different little change then i took out again we're, we, okay well anyway i get a lot of stuff for free that otherwise gets thrown into the dumpster and uh there was one package in there get a lot of good stuff really said all organic no gmo product which i'm going it's not for isn't that for plants rather than animals but anyway they weren't fed any of that i guess and then it says it says no antibiotics no this that chicken breast and uh uh let's see uh all vegetarian diet and free range. <laughs> I don't know. What is a free range chicken anymore? Okay. So my husband said, well, that just means, you know, I mean, free range. That just means that they're in a, they're in a, a, a cage this big instead of this big. <laughs> but that doesn't make any sense at all. Because if you have free range chickens, they love bugs. Eh? Worms. Well, what is that? An all-vegetarian diet? Well, anyway, so, you know, again, you could just wonder, all right, you put all this on a package, and I'm going, but one doesn't kind of compute with the other one you got on there. So what else isn't true about that chicken breast? Anyway, just saying. Still, it's probably better than you know, some of the other stuff that you get. Don't, uh, we have a saying, huh? Einem geschenkten Gaul schaut man nicht ins Maul. A gift, you don't look a gift horse in the mouth. I just wonder about things like that, right? Not complaining about it or saying, oh my gosh, I'm just going, how does that make sense? And how are we duped into certain other things, you know, where we don't realize, wait a second, but that statement doesn't make any sense with the other statement, right? Doesn't fit. We don't have to believe everything out there either way. And the uh, yeah, best thing is study up on it. Look, my hands are absolutely gooed up with non, not finished baked or, gosh, mighty is that what keeps it fresher or not? From, ugh, okay, well, I'll go and feed that to the chicken. Here, you wanna lick my hand? There we go. No need to waste any of it because I like it. Just once in a while, get a sweet corn muffin. I hit, yeah. You can't even get that. You cannot even lick that off my face. There. I think the piggies are. Hanging out in the woods. I mean, that's not for you, buddy. You have one. Hanging out in the woods, eating the acorns before winter time, doing their own thing. They don't really need the food right now. Cheek, 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 cheek. No, no, you need to come back in. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Watch out, you're a mouthful for this.
I've got to teach Gus, and I've got to be, I think I let him go too soon out there again, and he's just not gotten the net. Got out anyway. I know Bo will enjoy those little corn muffins out there. Yeah, he's old. Make sweet stuff. And then, too, I'll let you out this way. It might take a little longer before you find it. Huh? <coughs> <coughs> oh, my daughter. Yep, my youngest one. Uh, if you like murals, nice ones, not the graffiti stuff, okay? But really nice uh, murals and stuff. That's their little business called Pink Merle Design. And if you need work done like that, a couple amazing young ladies who do incredible work, right? Yes? Oh, you're back in. He's not done. And uh, so, huh? busy, very busy. Uh, she still has time to come help out Mama. And I didn't ask. She calls me and says, Mom, coming down. Make a list. <laughs> Sweet, isn't it? Yes. So, oh, uh, yeah. So I, I don't really call my children all the time. About once, uh, I write to all of them. Yeah. Love you. How you doing? God bless you. Right? Kind of let them know, oh yeah, mom's mom's doing good. Okay, she's still alive. <laughs> and then I let them call me because I'm always here. And uh, they're very, all their lives are very busy, right? So I like it when they call me, eh? contact me, because then I know they're ready to talk. Eh? And I always have wonderful talks with my children. Yes. So there is that. Okay. Although I don't have to clean out the oh 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 I've got something I bet they're going hey seriously Charlie likes to kind of, he goes slow enough, but not slow enough for me. Huh? Yeah. Come here, Gus. Gus, don't you dare. <laughs> yeah, okay. Good. Well, at least Gus has the good sense when he's outside of the fence to know they're bigger, right, than him. Causing kind of skadoffle. Ah! So. <sighs> With the Bible reading that I did this morning, I always watch it first <laughs> before I upload it. Just to see, okay. Okay. What did I all say? And I kind of realized on how irked I somewhat was, right, over the stories on, of, of today. Right? And on how my heart to mine just doesn't work that way. Right? I can't see myself, and I've been in certain situation you know, where I can't see myself to be okay so that I'm not threatened, I'm not, right, to abandon a child 
and a woman that I have to share with right? my husband or something. I can't see myself do that. And again, I'm not just not talking with experience or something. Of course, situations were different, but when it came down to it, right? on top of that, I always felt that I knew where my place was without interfering more than I felt was really necessary. Okay? So there's one thing right, that when I grew up and I went to school and then to, uh, uh, okay, we had, we had like what it would be here, according to age, would be uh, middle school, okay? High school is not something that you have there in Switzerland. And uh, <clears throat> I guess because you get taught all this in the lower grades and then in the, uh, per se, middle school grades, you don't need to go to school until, right? The ripe old age of 18, 19. Most of mine were 17, actually, when they finished up. Well, anyway. So, I didn't, wasn't really, uh, or didn't see, and again, most likely because my, my nose was always in a book. And I didn't have a whole lot of give and take with any of my classmates. Not because I wasn't liked, not because I didn't like them. It was... Just not my thing, okay? So, so I didn't see any of that boyfriend, girlfriend stuff going on, nor, nor did I have any of that going on. But when my children went to school, the fights right, that girls had with other girls over a guy, and guys had fights over a girl. Rather than, okay, you have a girlfriend and your girlfriend's hanging out with another guy doing more maybe, the same, then you need to talk to the girl. Vice versa, the same, right? Yet, uh, who gets attacked? And that's a weird one to me. Right? Because that should be taken up between the two parties who are either together or they're not. And has nothing to do with anybody else out there, right? Because again, where are we putting the blame when it comes to things like that? Just saying. And I saw, saw, saw that again in the story, and who is taking the blame? Who's getting abandoned? Child involved. Due to a bad decision made by whom? Beforehand. Okay. Then not taking responsibility, make it go away, right? Yeah. All right. Who knows exactly what happened there in the Bible and with all that and this snap. We weren't there, so we don't know. We got what we got, right? For one reason or another, maybe to give us something to think about or to just uh, let, let the excuses stand because, hey, right? it's in the Bible <laughs> and God is fine with it. Which I'm sure he wasn't. He's not. So, same thing. Right? I'm looking at this package of meat and I'm going, well, that doesn't make sense. Still going to eat it. Right? <laughs> but I'm probably going to go, well, it was either in a cage and fed whatever they wanted to feed it that didn't have meat in it. Or it was free range and then it wasn't fed, it definitely didn't have a vegetarian diet done. If chickens run around on grass or whatever, they're going to find some bugs because they fly around too. Unless they're in a big old building, what, that's bug free? Whoa, what kind of chemicals does that take? Okay, just saying. Eh? So again, I can look at the pack and oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, yeah. And not even think about it and go, or, or go, wait a second. <laughs> How does that make sense? Be aware of it. It's probably still good meat. Eh? And I'm going to eat it. I'm going to make a good meal for tonight, right? For all the help I'm going to have here. Done. Good. Hey. <coughs> corn muffin. Made with whole grain. I wonder what kind of corn they used. Right? Yeah. You know, I can't eat them. I can't eat them. Anybody that's had some, oh, yeah, yeah. But you could tell. First of all, also, because they're not cooked. 
They're not finished baked. Yeah. Uh, so there's uh, three boxes would have gone in the dumpster. They'd be good for the pigs and the uh, and the animal and the chickens. They're gonna love it. Right? Okay, done. At least that's not going to waste. But I tell you something with the corn that I've noticed. Lately, the corn that we're getting, uh, the feed corn, neither the chickens nor the pigs want to eat it, and I'm wondering why. Yeah. Has our corn been so modified by now? that the animals don't recognize it as food? Interesting, don't you think? So I'm gonna have to come up with something else. It won't make any sense for me to keep buying corn if I can't get corn at a reasonable price as well, that's actually still corn. And what I mean is still f edible food. Because if the animals aren't willing to eat that, I know I shouldn't be eating it for sure, right? Yes? I'm just saying, eh? not saying, hey, that's the gospel out there. That's what I've noticed. That's what I observed. Done. Eh? So there it is. Eh? Yeah. Uh, just saying. Eh? So anywho, uh, that's all I have to share this morning. I don't have to clean out the barn because I'm having help. Oh, ba -doo, ba -doo, ba -doo, ba -doo. Was it always like this? Oh, uh, no. But with my children, it takes time. Restoration in every family will take time. But I believe what I've seen, it happens. Right? Yes? And uh, to see filial piety in your children, it's an amazing thing. To me, it's an amazing thing, especially when you don't have to ask for it. Ah, right? oh, got to check in with mom. Winter is coming. Sure, she needs help with wood. Sure, she needs help with the barn. Right? I've got the time. I got some time. This is what I can do. Right? Yes. Yeah. Wonderful. That is wonderful. And uh, also, uh, when my children come, say. Mom, do you think you will have time, so-and-so, to help with the children? You know, just putting it out there uh, uh, ahead enough time so that, you know, you can make arrangements. This, that, uh, wonderful that my children, uh, number one, trust me with my grandchildren. Number two, uh, yes, Woo. yeah, huh? yeah, you betcha. Uh, three generations in a family, grandparents, parents, and children. It's important, it's important for the restoration of the family. Yes, yeah. And uh, we'll go with the mistakes. As I said, don't repeatedly make the same one. Come on now, okay? Then one has to just admit, oh, I didn't realize that was a mistake then. Oh, didn't realize it was a mistake here. Oh, didn't realize it was. it's a mistake now. And most likely not realize it's a mistake in the future. That's too sad, too. But one would hope for everyone out there eventually to realize, oh, that was a mistake. Right? Yes? And then apologize, say sorry to the proper parties if that's needed or this or that, or start writing some things. Right? As I said, write things. Right? Start th do doing things differently. Make a change for the better towards the side of goodness. Right? The best thing also towards a good, loving relationship with God. Okay. Yes. All right. That's what I wanted to share this morning. Hmm? And uh, well. lots of them corn muffins. <laughs> yeah. Right. God's love and blessings always. And I will talk to you another time. And may God protect you.